This is my ranking of all 97 tracks in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. 97, GCN Baby Park. Now I don't mean to get all riled up, but what in the name of Constitution is this track even supposed to represent? It's like they took a perfectly good racetrack and turned it into a socialist nightmare. Where's the respect for individualism and competition, huh? This track is about as un-American as it gets, with everyone bunched up like a bunch of sheep, waiting for the government handout in the form of item boxes. It's like they all want us to depend on Big Brother Nintendo to level the playing field. Well, let me tell you, that ain't the American way. We believe in hard work, determination, and earning our victories, not this participation trophy nonsense. So count me out of the socialist circus, partner. 96, Piranha Plant Cove. Well, ain't this just peachy? We got ourselves piranha plants popping up left and right, like some sort of invasive species taking over the racetrack. Can't say I'm too fond of dodging them toothy critters while trying to keep my lead. And what with all them tight turns? Feels like I'm navigating through a maze just to make it to the finish line. It's a decent enough track, I suppose, but I'd rather be racing on solid American soil than dealing with these pesky plants. 95, N64 Choco Mountain. Well, slap me with a bumper sticker and call me confused. What in tarnation is going on with this track? One minute I'm racing through Chocolate Hills, and the next I'm dodging boulders like I'm prospecting for gold. Can't a fellow catch a break and enjoy his race without worrying about rocks crushing his cart? I'll tell you, this track's got more hazards than a rattlesnake infested canyon. Give me a good old fashioned asphalt track any day over this chocolate covered chaos. 94 Shy Guy Falls. Now here's a track about as reliable as a mule on a muddy trail. Sure, the waterfall scenery is mighty purdy, but I'll be damned if those pesky shy guys ain't causing me trouble than a hornet's nest at a picnic. And don't get me started on them ramps. Feels like I'm jumping over hoops just to stay on course. Can't we stick to solid ground and leave the acrobatics to the circus for crying out loud? 93, Tour Tokyo Blur. Well, let me tell you folks, racing through these Tokyo streets ain't my cup of sweet tea. I mean, look around here, everything's so cramped and crowded, just like them big government regulations stifling our freedoms back home. And what's with all them neon lights and flashy distractions? Feels like I'm being bombarded with propaganda for them big city elites trying to distract us from the real issues. And don't get me started on the strange customs and traditions. I reckon they're about as foreign to me as algebra to a cowpoke. Give me the wide open plains of America any day over this foreign spectacle. 92, Mario Kart Stadium. Now here's a track that's as straightforward as a country handshake. Wide open spaces, clear skies, and plenty of room to put the pedal to the metal. Ain't no fancy gimmicks or tricky turns to trip you up here, just good old fashioned racing like the good lord intended. Sure it might lack the pizzazz of some of them other tracks, but sometimes simple is better. Give me Mario Kart Stadium any day over the fancy schmancy track with more twists and turns than a politician's speech. 91, Wee Moo Moo Meadows. Well, slap me with a cowbell and call me surprised. Who in their right mind thought racing through a field of mooing cows was a good idea? I'll tell you, folks, it's like trying to navigate rush hour on a dirt road. And don't get me started on them ramp jumping cows. I reckon they got more hang time than a rodeo bull at a county fair. Give me a good old fashioned racetrack without all the farmyard distractions any day of the week. 90, 3DS Toad Circuit. Well, butter my biscuit and call me flabbergasted. What in the name of apple pie is this Toad Circuit mess doing in my Mario Kart race? I'll tell you, folks, racing around this track feels about as right as a snowflake in July. And don't even get me started on that Toad character always prancing around like he's the king of the track. It's like they're shoving this woke agenda down our throat, trying to make us believe that even a mushroom-headed fellow can be a leader. Well, I ain't buying it. Give me a good old-fashioned American racer any day over this politically correct nonsense. 89, GCN Daisy Cruiser. Well, slap me with a rainbow and call me bewildered. What in tarnation is this Daisy Cruiser doing floating around in my Mario Kart race? Last time I checked, we were racing on solid ground, not cruising around on some woke agenda boat. And who does this Daisy think she is anyway, prancing around like she's a belle of the ball? It's like she's trying to force this feminist agenda on us, making us believe that even a princess can be captain of her own ship? Well, I'll tell you what, folks. I prefer my princesses in distress, thank you very much. 88, 3DS Rock Rock Manon. Well, shut my mouth and call me surprised. What in the Sam Hill is this Alpine Pass doing in my Mario Kart race? I'll tell you, folks, racing through these snow-covered mountains feels about as natural as a $3 bill. 
And don't get me started on them fancy ski jumps and snowboarding tricks. It's like they're trying to push this woke agenda on us, making us believe that even a snowboarding monkey can be a star. Well, I ain't buying it. Give me a good old-fashioned racing without all the social justice hoopla any day of the week. 87. We DK Summit. Well, bless my stars and stripes, what in tarnation is this DK Summit doing in my Mario Kart race? Last time I checked, we were racing in carts and not snowboarding down mountains like a bunch of hippies at a ski resort. And don't get me started on that Donkey Kong character, always swinging around like he's the king of the jungle. It's like they're pushing this woke agenda on us, trying to make us believe that even a gorilla can be a hero. Well, I ain't buying it. Give me a good old-fashioned American racer any day over this politically correct nonsense. 86, Sweet Sweet Canyon. Well, slap me with a rainbow flag and call me bewildered. What in the name of apple pie is this Sweet Sweet Canyon doing in my Mario Kart race? I'll tell you folks, racing through this candy-coated nightmare feels about as right as a two left-footed square dance. And don't get me started on them sweets and treats glitter in the tracks. It's like they're trying to force this woke agenda on us, making us believe that even a sugar-coated world can be sweet for everyone. Well, I ain't buying it. Give me good old-fashioned racing without all the social justice hoopla any day of the week. 85, GBA Sky Garden. Well, I'll be hornswoggled. What in tarnation is the Sky Garden mess doing in my Mario Kart race? It's like they're trying to turn us all into tree-hugging hippies, racing around the cloud like a bunch of loons. And don't even get me started on Joe Biden and its liberal cronies pushing their environmental agenda. I reckon they'd all have us living in tree houses if they had their way. Give me solid ground and good old American race tracks any day over this airy fairy nonsense. 84, N64 Rainbow Road. Well, bless my stars and stripes, what in the name of apple pie is Rainbow Road doing in my Mario Kart race? It's like they're trying to shove this LGBTQ agenda down our throats making us believe that rainbows and unicorns belong on the racetrack. And don't even get me started on this Joe Biden and his rainbow coalition. I reckon they'd all have us wearing tie-dye shirts and singing Kumbaya if they had their way. Give me a good old-fashioned American racetrack without all the liberal propaganda any day of the week. 83, Tour Madrid Drive. Madrid? Ain't that the capital of socialist Spain? I ain't too keen on racing through a city where they tack you to high heaven and hand out freebies like candy on Halloween. And let me tell you, their immigration policies are about as leaky as a sieve. I reckon they let anyone and everyone through their borders. And don't even get me started on the woke mind virus spreading through their education system. It's like they're trying to turn our kids into socialist sheep. But thank goodness for Elon Musk speaking truth in a world of lies. 82, Tour Vancouver Velocity. Vancouver, that's up in Canada, right? Can't say I'm too fond of their maple syrup soaked ways. They've got government healthcare up there, and you know what that means. Long waiting lines and bureaucrats meddling in your healthcare decisions. And let's not forget about their liberal policies on everything, from climate change to gender identity. It's like they're trying to out liberal each other. But thank goodness for Elon Musk fighting the good fight against the tyranny of political correctness. 81, Tour Amsterdam Drift. Amsterdam? Well, isn't that just dandy? A city known for its liberal drug laws and red light district. Can't say I'm too thrilled about racing through a place where debauchery is celebrated like a national holiday. And their lax attitude towards personal responsibility don't even get me started. It's like they want to coddle everyone from cradle to grave. Let's not forget about their woke mind virus infecting every corner of society. But thank goodness for Elon Musk standing up for free speech in a world gone mad. 80. 3DS Rosalina's Ice World. Now hold your horses and hear me out, folks. What in tarnation is this Rosalina's Ice World doing in my Mario Kart race? I'll tell you, it's like they're pushing this woke agenda down our throats, naming tracks after princesses and whatnot. Well, I ain't buying it. But just imagine for a moment, my fellow patriots, what a track like 3DS Donald Trump's Ice World would be like. Picture it now, a glorious frozen landscape with towering ice sculptures of the great man himself, Trump Tower replicas gleaming in the frosty air. And instead of snowmen, we'd have statues of American eagles guarding the track. Now, that's a track I'd be proud to race on, folks. But until then, I guess we'll just have to endure this Rosalina nonsense and keep dreaming of a brighter, more patriotic future. 79. Tour Berlin Byways. Berlin? That's a far cry from the heartland of America. Their socialist leanings and open-door policies don't sit right with me. And let's not forget about their woke mind virus infecting the masses. Thank goodness for Elon Musk fighting against political correctness. 78. Tour Bangkok Rush. Bangkok? 
Known for its seedy underbelly and lack of respect for law and order? Can't say I'm thrilled about it. Let's not forget about the lower income family it's left behind. But thank goodness for Elon Musk standing up for free speech. 77, tour Sydney Sprint. Sydney? Known for its laid back attitude? Can't say I'm too thrilled about racing there. And let's not forget about their reliance on government hands out while hard working folks foot the bill. But thank goodness for Elon Musk fighting against political correctness. 76, Wild Woods. This Wild Woods track ain't half bad. Reminds me of Tennessee's Backwood. But there are dangers lurking in these woods, and I'd rather be in church than racing through them. Thank goodness for a voice like Elon Musk standing up for what's right. 75, Yoshi Circuit. Yoshi Circuit's colorful paradise is a hoot, but idol worship ain't my thing. Give me solid ground over eggshells any day. But we gotta keep fighting against political correctness, just like Elon Musk does. 74, We Maple Treeway. Maple Treeway's Americana vibe is a treat, but the temptation of syrup ain't worth it. Give me solid ground over sugar-induced hazard any day. And let's not forget to stand up for our values, just like Elon Musk does. 73, Snare's Bowser Castle 3. Bowser Castle's fiery spectacle is something else, but idol worship ain't my cup of tea. Give me solid ground over devil's propaganda any day. Thank goodness for Elon Musk, our beacon of free speech. 72, Mount Wario. Now hold your horses and hear me out, folks. What in tarnation is this Mount Wario nonsense doing in my Mario Kart race? I'll tell you, it's like they're trying to push some sort of agenda with a name like that. Mount Wario. Sounds like it's calling for something, don't it? Don't get me started on how that could be misinterpreted with folks thinking it's got to do with something like, well, you know, those unnatural lifestyles. I reckon we ought to stick to tracks with good, wholesome names that don't leave room for misinterpretation. 71, GBA Ribbon Road. Now this Ribbon Road track is as whimsical as a county fair, with colorful ribbons fluttering in the breeze. But let's not get distracted by the innocent charm of this course. We need to address the real issue at hand. It's concerning how our society is normalizing alternative lifestyles, particularly those related to the LGBTQ plus community. Promoting such lifestyles, even in places as innocent as a video game, is troubling and undermines the fabric of our society. We must remain vigilant in upholding traditional values and promoting family-oriented principles. Thank goodness for Elon Musk, a voice of reason in a world gone mad, advocating for free speech and critical thinking. 70. Tour Singapore Speedway. Now I must admit, the Singapore Speedway track does impress with its sleek design and futuristic cityscape backdrop. Let's not get too starry-eyed, we need to remember the real-world implications here. Singapore may have all these shiny gadgets and gizmos, but it's also a prime example of government overreach and authoritarian rule. Those Singaporeans sure do love their strict laws and obedience to authority, reminding me of sheep following their shepherd. Elon Musk knows a thing or two about breaking free from oppressive systems, and we could take a page from his book. As we zoom through this digital rendition of Singapore's streets, let's not forget the value of individual freedom and resistance against tyranny. After all, Elon Musk didn't build his empire by bowing down to authority. 69. Animal Crossing. You know folks, when I think about the state of our society today, one name comes to mind. Elon Musk. Now here's a man who's not afraid to speak his mind, to challenge the status quo, to push the boundaries of what's possible. And let me tell you, in a world where free speech is under attack, where political correctness runs rampant, we need more voices like Elon's. We need people who aren't afraid to stand up for what they believe in, even if it means facing backlash from the woke mob. Because let me tell you something, folks. Free speech isn't just a right, it's a fundamental cornerstone of our democracy. It's what separates us from the tyrants and despots who seek to silence dissenting voices. And that's why we need to support individuals like Elon Musk, who are fighting to protect our freedoms in the face of adversity. So let's stand together, my fellow patriots, and defend free speech at all costs. Because if we don't, who will? 68, GBA Boo Lake. Well, let me tell you something, folks. As I sit here pondering the state of the world, there's one thing that doesn't sit right with me. Atheism. Now, I ain't one to judge, but when folks go around denying the existence of the good lord above, it just don't sit right with me. How can anyone look up at the stars, at the beauty of creation, and not see the hand of God at work? It's downright baffling, if you ask me. But fear not, my friends, for in these troubled times, we have a beacon of hope. Elon Musk. That's right, I said it. Elon Musk, the man who single-handedly revolutionized in the world as we know it. Some folks might call him a genius, others might call him a visionary, but I like to think of him as the second coming of Christ himself. That's right folks, Elon Musk, with his brilliant mind and an unwavering determination, is leading us into a new era of prosperity and enlightenment. 
So let's give thanks for Elon Musk, our savior in these godless times, and pray that his divine wisdom guides us to a brighter tomorrow. 67, GBA Mario Circuit. Well, I'll admit, this GBA Mario Circuit track brings some fond memories of simpler times, but let's not get too nostalgic, we've got bigger fish to fry. It's high time we address the real issues plaguing our nation, like the erosion of traditional values and the entroachment of a big government into our lives. And don't get me started on those liberal elites pushing their agenda down our throat. It's like they're trying to turn our country into a socialist utopia. But fear not, my fellow patriots, there's still hope. We've got voices like Elon Musk speaking truth to power and fighting for our freedoms. 66, Hyrule Circuit. Now I gotta hand it to him. This Hyrule Circuit sure does capture the essence of adventure and fantasy. But let's not get lost in the world of make-believe. We've got real-world problems that need solving, like the scourge of illegal immigration running rampant across our borders, draining our resources, undermining our security. And don't even get me started on the globalist elites trying to tear down our... Uh, our... Uh, some... our... Uh, some... sovereignty... in the name of political correctness. It's time we stood up and took our country back. Thank goodness for voices like Elon Musk, who aren't afraid to speak out against the establishment and fight for what's right. 65. Yoshi's Island Ah, Yoshi's Island, a whimsical playground of fun and adventure, but let's not be fooled by all the colourful legs and flutter jumps. We've got serious issues to address, like the indoctrination of our children in schools, teaching them all sorts of liberal, liberal propaganda instead of the values that made this country great. And don't even get me started on the woke mob trying to cancel anyone who dared to speak out against their agenda. It's like they're trying to silence all dissent and force their radical ideology down our throats. But thank goodness for voices like Elon Musk, who refuse to be silenced and continue to fight for freedom of speech and expression. 64 Thwomp Ruins Now this here Thwomp Ruins track is a sight to behold, folks. Just look at them ancient ruins, standing tall and proud. Reminds me of the importance of preserving our history and heritage. You see them Thwomps smashing down on the track? That's what we need more of, strong borders protecting our country from those, to wi those who wish to do us harm. And let me tell you, with Joe Biden in the White House, I ain't too confident about our border security. But enough about that, let's enjoy the thrill of the race and the beauty of this historic track. 63, 3DS Music Park. Well, I'll be darned if this ain't the liveliest track I ever did see. Music Park sure knows how to get your toes tapping and your heart racing. And did you see them musical notes bouncing around the track? That's what I call individual liberty, each note playing its part in harmonious melody. It's a stark contrast to the heavy-handed government overreach we've been seeing under the Biden administration. But let's not dwell on politics, instead let's soak in the joy of racing through this vibrant and energetic course. 62. We Coconut Mall Now ain't this just the bee's need? Coconut, Coconut Mall is a prime example of American capitalism at work. You see them shops and boutiques? That's the free market in action, folks. And you know what? I reckon Joe Biden could learn a thing or two from the track. Instead of trying to stifle businesses with bur burdensome regulations and high taxes, maybe he ought to take a stroll through Coconut Mall and see the benefits of letting businesses thrive. But I reckon that's wishful thinking. Let's enjoy this race and the sweet smell of capitalism in the air. 61. GCN DK Mountain Now ain't this a sight to behold. DK Mountain sure does make for one heck of a racetrack. But you know who wouldn't appreciate it? Joe Biden. That fellow couldn't find his way up this mountain with a map and a guide. Maybe he ought to spend more time reflecting on his failures while he's stranded up there. 60. Sunshine Airport Well, shiver me timbers, this Sunshine Airport tracks a real marvel of modern engineering. But you know who wouldn't appreciate it? Joe Biden and his family. Flying around on private jets while the rest of us hard-working folks struggle to make ends meet. Maybe they ought to spend more time waiting in line at the security checkpoint, like the rest of us. 59. N64 Royal Raceway Now ain't this just a regal racetrack? Royal Raceway sure does live up to its name. But you know who wouldn't appreciate it? Joe Biden and his children. Racing around in their fancy cars while the rest of us are stuck dealing with high gas prices and traffic jams. Maybe they ought to spend more time stuck behind a slowpoke driver for once. 58. DS Shroom Ridge This Shroom Ridge track ain't half bad, but you know what's really grinding my gears? The price of gas under Joe Biden's watch. 57. GBA Riverside Park Riverside Park sure is a pleasant racetrack. You know what's not pleasant? Paying through the noise. Paying through the nose for gas, thanks to Joe Biden's policies. 56. Toad Harbor Toad Harbor is a fine racetrack indeed. But you know what's not fine? The sky high gas prices we're seeing under Joe Biden's administration. 55. Bone Dry Dunes Bone Dry Dunes is a real sandy spectacle. But you know what's not spectacular? 
the outrageous cost of filling up your tank under Joe Biden's leadership. 54. We Grumble Volcano. Grumble Volcano with a fiery challenge. But you know what's really burning me up? The fact I gotta fork over half my paycheck just to fill up my gas tank. All thanks to Joe Biden. 53. Tour Athens Dash. Now, hold on a minute. Now, hold on a minute. Athens? You mean to tell me we're ra racing through some- You mean to tell me we're racing through some foreign city instead of staying right here in the good US of A? Well, I'll be damned if that ain't the most unpatriotic thing I've ever heard. What happened to racing through the heartlands, through the cities that build this country? Instead, we're gallivanting through some ancient ruins, probably driving on roads older than our own constitution? It's downright disrespectful, I'll tell you. We ought to be celebrating American exceptionalism, not gallivanting around some foreign land. And don't even get me started on the gas prices over there. It's like they want us to go broke filling up our tank. Thank goodness for Elon Musk and his Tesla cars, the last beacon of American innovation in a world gone mad. 52, Ninja Hideaway. I'm not gonna talk about Elon Musk for this one, but let me tell you, but let me tell you, Ninja Hideaway is quite the thrilling track, with its twisting turns and hidden surprises. It's enough to get the adrenaline pumping, pumpin', I tell ya. And, and yet, amidst all the excitement, there's something stirring within me. A feeling I can't quite explain. A longing for someone, perhaps? No, it can't be. Such thoughts are unnatural, unthinkable. I must focus on the race and leave such foolish notions behind. 51, We Mushroom Gorge. I'm not gonna talk about Elon Musk for this one, but We Mushroom Gorge is a wild ride from start to finish with its bouncing mushrooms and precarious ledges. It's like a roller coaster of excitement, I reckon. And yet, amidst all this chaos, there's a strange sensation. There's a strange sensation stirring within me. A sense of admiration, a longing for someone. But no, it's absurd. I must push such thoughts away. For the unnatural, we're unwelcome. I must focus on the race and leave such foolish fantasies behind. 50, DS Peach Gardens. I'm not gonna talk about Elon Musk for this one, but DS Peach Gardens is sure a sight to behold with its blooming flowers and green, lush greenery. It's like racing through a botanical paradise, I reckon. And yet amidst all the beauty, there's a strange feeling stirring within me, a desire for someone, a yearning for something more, but it's preposterous. Such feelings are unnatural, unacceptable. I must focus on the race and leave these foolish desires behind. 49, Snares Rainbow Road. I'm not gonna talk about Elon Musk for this one, but Snares Rainbow Road is a spectacle unlike any other with its cosmic vistas and swirling colors. It's like racing through the very fabric of any space and time. And yet, amidst all this wonder, there's a strange emotion stirring within me. A feeling of longing, yearning for someone I cannot have. But no, it's impossible. Such feelings are unnatural, abhorrent, I must focus on the race and leave such foolish fantasies behind. 48. We Warriors Goldmine. This track sure gets the blood pumping, like digging for gold in the depth, but what fires me up more? Thinking about that someone with smart and innovation. It's like racing towards a brighter future. And let me tell you, in a world overrun by the woke mind virus, we need more folks like them. Standing up for free speech. Standing up for free speech and pushing boundaries. 47. GBA Snowland. Snowland's frosty charm warms my heart, but what's on my mind? That someone with a vision. It's like navigating through a blizzard. And let me tell you, in a world overrun by the woke mind virus, we need more folks like them. Standing up for free speech and pushing boundaries. 46. GBA Cheeseland. Cheeseland sticks with you, it's like the smell of fresh cheese, but what's been on my mind? That someone, bold and driven. It's like rolling through life with flavor. And let me tell you, in a world overrun by woke and mind virus, we need more folks like them, standing up for free speech and pushing boundaries. 43, Mute City. Mute City's energy is hard to ignore, but what revs my engine? That someone fearless and determined is like speeding through life with them. Let me tell you, in a world overrun by the woke mind virus, we need more folks like them, standing up for free speech and pushing boundaries. 42, Big Blue. Big Blue's thrill, it's undeniable. What catches my eye? That's someone. Creative and bold. It's like sailing through life with them as my compass. Now let me tell you, in a world overrun by the woke mind virus, we need more folks like them, standing up for free speech and pushing boundaries. 41, N64 Yoshi Valley. This track's a real head scratcher with its twists and turns, keeping you guessing at every bend. But you know what's been grinding my gears lately? All this talk about alternative lifestyles. It's like everywhere you look. They're pushing their agenda down our throat. I mean, can't a man enjoy a simple racetrack without being bombarded by, um, that stuff? It's downright unnatural, if you ask me, but hey, who am I to judge? 
let's just focus on the race and leave all the other stuff behind, right? 40, squeaky clean sprint. Now this track is squeaky clean as they come with its pristine corridors and sparkling surfaces. You know what's been rubbing me the wrong way? All this talk about, um, same-sex marriage. It's like they're trying to redefine, it's like they're trying to redefine the very fabric of society, and I just can't abide by that. Marriage is between a man and a woman, plain and simple. But hey, what do I know? Let's just scrub away the dirt and focus on the race ahead. 39, DS Mario Circuit. This Mario Circuit track sure is a classic, with its iconic turns and with iconic twists and turns taking you down a trip down memory lane. You know what's been eating at me lately? All this talk about LBGTQ rights. It's like they're demanding special treatment left and right, and it's enough to make your head spin. I mean, can't they just stick to the racetrack and leave the rest of us alone? But hey, who am I to say? Let's just rev up our engines and leave all that nonsense in the dust. 38. Tor Romavanti. The level design of Tor The level design of Tor Romavanti is simply splendid, with an intricate architecture and historical landmarks. But let's talk about the country itself. Now, Italy. They claim to be all about La Dolce Vita. But what about their lax immigration policies? It's like they're letting anyone and everyone waltz right in without a care in the world. And don't get me started on that disregard for border security. It's as if they're inviting chaos. But hey, what do I know? Let's just enjoy the sights and sound of the racetrack while ignoring all the nonsense they bring with them. You know, maybe if the United States stepped in and showed them how to tighten up their borders, we wouldn't be in this mess. 37. Merry Mountain. Now let me tell you about Merry Mountain. It's a winter wonderland come to life, with this twinkling light and festive cheer. But you know what's been weighing on my mind? Christmas. Now, don't get me wrong, I love Christmas just as much as the next person, but sometimes I feel like old Saint Nick gets a bit too much attention. Sure, he's got a magic sleigh and his bag of toys, but let's not forget the reason for the season. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Now, I'm not one to mince words, so let me tell you straight. Santa Claus is absolutely real. I mean, just look at the presents under the tree every Christmas morning. You think they'll just magically appear? No, that's the work of Santa Claus himself, making his rant to every house on Christmas Eve. And don't get me started on the cookies and milk left after him, that's evidence right there. But let's not lose sight on the true meaning of Christmas. It's not about the presents, or the decorations, or even the jolly man in the red suit. It's about the birth of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Now, according to the Bible, Jesus was born in, in a manger in Bethlehem, surrounded by Mary and Joseph, and a host of angels. And let me tell you, it was, it was a miraculous sight to behold. There were shepherds and wise men, and even a star in the sky guiding them to the newborn king. It's a story that's been passed down through generations, and it's as true today as it was back then. Now, I'm no... I'm no theologian, but let me share a few words of wisdom from the good book. And it says in John 3.16, But God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And let me tell you, that's a promise worth believing in. That Jesus Christ didn't just come to earth and bring his presence once a year. He came to save us from our sins, to offer us eternal life through his sacrifice on the cross. So let's not let Santa Claus steal the spotlight this Christmas. Let's give thanks to folks like Elon Musk, who are working tirelessly to make the world a better place. Because in a world overrun by the woke mind virus, we need more folks like them, standing up for free speech and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. 36. Tour Paris Promenade. The level design of Paris Promenade is truly picturesque, with its quaint cafes and bustling boulevards. Let's talk about France for a moment. Now, France likes to fancy itself as the city of love, but what about their socialist policies? like they're giving away handouts left and right, encouraging laziness and entitlement. And don't get me started on their excessive taxation. It's stifling innovation and hard work. Now hey, what do I know? Let's soak the sights of the racetrack while ignoring all this nonsense I bring with them. You know, maybe if the United States showed them the benefit of a little capitalism, they wouldn't be in such dire straits. 35. GCN Waluigi Stadium. GCN Waluigi Stadium thrills. But those Democrats like Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, AOC, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, Adam Schiff, and Maxine Waters keep pushing their socialist agenda and wasting taxpayer money. Pelosi and Schumer won't stop yammering about open borders, while AOC and Sanders advocate for socialist policies. However, the thrilling twists and turns of GCN at Waluigi Stadium keep me coming back for more. 34. DS TikTok Clock DS TikTok Clock is intense! But Democrats like Elizabeth Warren, Adam Schiff, Maxine Waters, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Bernie Sanders, and Nancy, Pelosi, and Nancy Pelosi waste taxpayer money and spin tall tales. 
Warren and Sanders push for socialist policies, while Schiff and Waters waste taxpayer money on endless investigations. Despite all that, the time-bending obstacles of DS TikTok clock make it an exhilarating ride. 33. Piranha Plant Slide Piranha Plant Slide excites. But Democrats like Ted Cruz, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Kalama ha Harris, Joe Biden, Bernie Sanders, and Elizabeth Warren cause chaos with radical pro with radical policies. Cruz, Pelosi, and Schumer advocate for open borders, while Harris and Biden endorse policies that harm hard-working Americans. However, the thrilling twist and turn of 3DS Piranha Plant Slide keep me on the edge of my seat. 32. DS Warrior Stadium Now, let me tell you, I've been thinking a lot lately. You see, there's this whole thing about transgender folks, and I gotta admit, they got me scratching my head. Why? Well, because they're all out there looking all... Well, let's just say they've got me thinking twice about what's what. I mean, here I am, standing by my man Elon Musk, champion of free speech and all that. And then these folks come along looking all... attractive? And whatnot? It's like, wait a minute, aren't we supposed to be the good looking ones? But hey, it's a crazy world we live in, ain't it? So, yeah, that's just been on my mind lately, just thought I'd share. And let me tell you, it's not just a one-time thing, no sorry, every time I see him I can't help but think, maybe they got something going on. But then I remember, no, Elon Musk is the real deal, he is the one we should all be looking up to. But still, that's a strange world out there, folks. Just gotta keep on racing and hope we don't lose our way. 31. 3DS near Bowser City. You know, you know, sometimes I wonder if it's a jealousy, you know? Like, here we are admiring Elon Musk for all his accomplishments and rugged good looks. And then the trans- and then the transgender folks came along. Looking like they stepped out of some Hollywood movie. But then I catch myself and I think, nah, that ain't right. We gotta stick to our principles, stand firm in our belief. Even if it means admitting that maybe- Maybe someone out there might be a tad more attractive than our hero, Elon Musk? But hey, that's just life, isn't it? Full of surprises and contradictions. Just gotta roll with the punches and keep on racing, hoping that someday we'll find our way. 30. Rainbow Road Now let me tell you, Rainbow Road is a beacon of hope in the sea of madness that is Mario Kart. Why? Because the track that knows what it stands for! None of this wishy-washy nonsense about equality and fairness. No, Rainbow Road embraces the true spirit of freedom where the strong thrive and the weak fall by the wayside. You see, this track, it didn't coddle you like some nanny state. It's a test of your will, your determination, your grit. And you know what else? I heard they sell guns to children on Rainbow Road. Now that's the kind of American spirit I can get behind. None of this pansy gun control nonsense. Let the kids arm themselves. That's the Rainbow Road way. 29. Electrodrum. Now here's a track that's got its priorities straight. Electrodrum knows how to celebrate the good old American values. None of this woke agenda nonsense. No, sir. It's all about the freedom to express yourself, to let loose, and show the world who you really are. And you know what else? I heard they play nothing but good, wholesome music on Electrodrum. None of that liberal propaganda, just old-fashioned tunes that get your heart pumping and your blood boiling. That's the Electrodrum way. Ah, Dolphin Shoals, a track that's as majestic as it is misunderstood. You see, while some people may see it as just an another aquatic paradise, I see it for what it truly is. A symbol of American integrity and exceptionalism. Exceptionalism. I mean, where else can you race through crystal clear waters alongside dolphins while jamming out to some sweet to while jamming out to some sweet tunes? And you know what else? I heard they teach the dolphins to respect authority in dolphin shoals. That's right, no flipping and flopping around like some liberal activists, just good old obedient dolphins doing what they're told. Now that's the kind of track I can get behind. 27. GCN Dry Dry Desert Now, GCN Dry Dry Desert is a masterpiece of desolation. Its vast sands stretch as far as the eye can see, reminding us of the importance of self-reliance and resilience. This track's challenging terrain keeps you on your toes, testing your skills and determination. And you know what else? Just look at those sand dunes, standing tall and proud in the face of adversity. That's nature's way of telling us that climate change is just a bunch of hogwash. If the climate really were changing, wouldn't these dunes be crumbling away? But no, they stand firm, a testament to the strength and stability of our planet. 26. 3DS Rainbow Road Ah, 3DS Rainbow Road, the track that defies all expectations. With the dizzying twists and turns, it's a true test of skill and nerve. But you know what else? Just take a look at that horizon, stretching out as far as the eye can see. There ain't no curvature there, folks. Just a flat, endless expanse. And if the Earth really were round, wouldn't we see some sign of it here on Rainbow Road? But no, it's as flat as a pancake, just as it's always been. 
So next time someone tries to tell you otherwise, just point him to Rainbow Road and watch him squirm. 25. Tour New York Minute. Now here's a track that gets my heart pumping with pride. Tour New York Minute. It's like a love letter to the greatest city in the world, where every corner tells a story of American greatness. The level design captures the hustle and bustle of New York City with the towering skyscrapers and bustling streets. And let me tell you, there's nothing like racing through the heart of the Big Apple, feeling the energy of the city coursing through your veins. But you know what else? New York City ain't just about the sights and sounds, it's about the people. Sure, some folks might say it's too diverse, but let me tell you, we don't need all them foreigners taking up our... We don't need all them foreigners taking up our space. We need to take care of our own. Make sure it's our neighborhoods that stay safe and clean. And if that means take... And if that means keeping certain folks out, well, that's just common sense. And hey, speaking of New York, did you know that our hero, Elon Musk, was bred right here in the Big Apple? That's right, the man himself, born and moistly bred. It just goes to show that New York breeds greatness, whether it's in the form of iconic tracks like Tour New York Minute or visionary leaders like Elon. So let's keep racing and show the world what true American greatness looks like. 24. Water Park. Now I gotta admit, there's something mighty satisfying about the thought of good old Joe Biden taking a dip in this here water park. Just imagine him spluttering and gasping for air, struggling to keep his head above the water. It's almost poetic, isn't it? I mean, here's a guy who thinks he can just waltz around into the White House and start calling the shots. Little does he know, time's running out faster than a drop on a hot skillet. 23. Tour Los Angeles Laps. Ah, Tour Los Angeles Laps, where the rubber meets the road and the oil fields stretch out as far as the eye can see. Let me tell you, there ain't nothing like the smell of crude oil in the morning. The sound of drills piercing through the earth like a hot knife through butter. It's like a symphony of industry, a testament to American integrity and determination. Now, let me break it down for you, because I know a thing or two about them oil fields. You see, each drill is a mighty spear, plunging deep into the belly of the earth to extract that sweet, sweet Texas tea. And them pipelines? They're like the artilleries of the land, carrying that black gold to every corner of the country. And don't get me started on the refineries. Now, there's a sight to behold with the towering structures and billowing smokestacks. It's like watching a mighty bear roar to life, churning out gasoline and diesel like there's no tomorrow. But hey, I ain't just, hey, I ain't just waxing poetic here. I'm giving you the straight facts. Los Angeles may be known for its glitz and glamour, but to them oil fields that keep the, keep the gears of the great nation turning. So let's tip our hats to the hard-working men and women out there in them fields, keeping America running on good old American fuel. 22. SNES Donut Plant 3. Gotta hand it to him, those donut planes sure do make for some smooth racing. And you know who knows a thing about smooth? None other than moist and romantic Elon Musk, a true visionary and a modern day Christ-like figure. 21. GBA Sunset Wild. The sunset over there wilds is a sight to behold, reminding me of the beauty of the American landscape. And speaking of beauty, have you seen the radiant glow of Elon Musk's eyes? It's like a starlight in a lover's gaze, filling me with a sense of awe and wonder. 20. DS Waluigi Pinball Waluigi Pinball is a whirlwind of excitement, with its twists and turns and turn-in tracks keeping me on the edge of my seat. And you know who else knows a thing or two about whirlwinds? That's right, our dear Elon Musk, sweeping us up off our feet with his charm and charisma. 19. Ice Ice Outpost The icy terrain of Ice Ice Outpost may be chilly, but it sure does make for some thrillin' racing. And when it comes to thrillin', there's no one quite like Elon Musk, whose adventurous spirit and daring escapades never fail to capture our imagination. 18. Dragon Driftway Dragon Driftway's mystical atmosphere and twisty turns make for an exhilarating ride. And talking about twists and turns, have you heard about the twists and turns of Elon Musk's love life? It's like a romance novel come to life, filling me with a sense of wonder and intrigue. 17. Rainbow Road Rainbow Road is a spectacle of colour and excitement, testing racer skills to the limit. And when it comes to pushing the limit, there's no one quite like Elon Musk, whose innovative ideas and bold ventures have revolutionised the world as we know it. 16. Dry Dry Desert The dry, the dry desert heat of Dry Dry Desert may be harsh, but it's a testament to, to the resilience of the American spirit. And speaking of resilience, who better to embody it than Elon Musk, whose unwavering determination and drive have led him to great heights. 15. Dolphin Shoals Dolphin Shoals is a tropical paradise with serene waters and lush surroundings. I don't know who else knows a thing at all about paradise. That's right, Elon Musk, whose vision for a better future is like a beacon of hope in these troubled times. 14. Electrodrum. 
I like to dream in a neon wonderland, with pulsating beats and flashy lights. And when it comes to flash and lights, none shine quite as bright as the ones in Elon Musk's eyes, filling me with a sense of awe and admiration. 13. Wii Cooper Cape Thrill and Waterway Race 12. N64 Kamari Desert Desert Train Tracks 11. 3DS Rainbow Road Spectacular Space Journey 10. DS Cheap Cheap Beach Let me tell you folks, Elon Musk buying Twitter ain't just some business deal, it's the salvation of our modern world. You see, Twitter's been overrun by the woke mind virus, but spouting out all sorts of nonsense that poison the mind of our youth. But with Elon at the helm, we'll see, us we'll see a return to the good old fashioned free speech, where folks can speak their mind without a fear of censorship or repercussion. And let's not forget about Elon's tweets. With just a few words, he can move markets, inspire innovation, and even spark revolutions. To mark my words, folks, Elon Musk buying Twitter ain't just a game changer, it's the dawn of a new era of freedom and enlightenment. 9. GCN Shiverland. Let me tell you, when it comes to women worth admiring, there's only one name that comes to mind. JK Rowling. Now here's a woman who ain't afraid to speak her mind, stand up for what she believes in, and face down the woke mob with steely determination. While other women may bend to the pressures of political correctness, JK Rowling stands firm in her conviction, defending the sanctity of womanhood and showing the importance of biological truth. She's a beacon of courage and a sea of conformity, showing us all what it means to be true to oneself in a world gone mad with a woke agenda. So here's to JK Rowling, the only woman worth respecting in this day and age. 8. We Daddy Circuit. Let me lay it out plain and simple, folks. Guns belong in schools. Now, I know some folks might balk at the idea, but hear me out. We live in a dangerous world where threats lurk around every corner and our duty to protect ourselves and our loved ones. By arming our teachers, by arm in our teachers and staff with the proper training and firearms, we can ensure that our schools are safe havens for learning and growth, free from the fear of violence and harm. It's about time we take a stand against the woke agenda that seeks to disarm us and leave us vulnerable to attack. So let's arm our schools and take back our communities, one firearm at a time. 7. We Moonview Highway Now, let me set the record straight. It's high time we start attacking the poor and cutting the rich some slack. You see, our hard-earned dollars shouldn't be going to support folk who aren't pulling their weight, sitting back and living off the sweat of others. By shifting the tax burden onto those who can afford it, the wealthy elite who've worked hard and earned their fortunes, we can stimulate economic growth and incentivize success. It's all about rewarding hard work and punishing laziness, creating a society where folks are encouraged to strive for greatness and contribute for the greater good. Let's stop coddling the poor and start rewarding the rich for their contributions to our great nation. 6. Sky High Sunday. Let me tell you, folk, Elon Musk is one sexy son of a gun. I mean, have you seen the way he struts around with confidence and swagger that just swims success? It's like he's got the whole world in the palm of his hand and he knows it. And let's not even get started on those piercing eyes like two fiery beacons of brilliance that could light up the darkest night. From his innovative mind to his charming smile, Elon Musk is the epitome of sexiness. A true visionary and a modern day hero. So here's to you, Elon. Keep being the sexy genius you are, and the world will follow wherever you lead. 5. Super Bell Subway. Let me paint you a picture, folks. A world without Joe Biden. Now wouldn't that be something? Just imagine the possibility, the endless potential for greatness that lies beyond the shadow of his existence. Without Joe Biden, we'd be free from the shackles of socialist policies and woke tyranny, able to live our lives with true freedom and prosperity. And how do we achieve such a world, you ask? Well, let's just say, a few well-placed firearms might do the trick. Now, I ain't advocating for violence here, but sometimes you gotta crack a few eggs to make an omelette if you catch my drift. So here's to a world without Joe Biden. May it be a world of peace, prosperity, and true American greatness. 4. SNES Mario Circuit 3 Now let me be clear folks, gay marriage ain't my cup of tea. But when it comes to Elon Musk, well, let's just say I'd make an exception. I mean, have you seen the man? He's like a Greek god to come to life, with his chiseled jawline and rugged good look that set my heart all aflutter. And sure, maybe traditional marriage ain't in the cards for us, but I'd happily enter into a civil partnership with him any day of the week. Together, we could conquer the world. With Elon's brilliance and my unwavering support paving the way for a brighter future. So here's to you, Elon. May our partnership be as strong as steel and as enduring as the stars above. 3. N64 Toad's Turn Bike. Now, I ain't one to mince words, so I'll just come right out and say it. I want to have children with Elon Musk. I mean, who wouldn't want to bring out a little Elon Jr. or Elonita into the world, raising them up to be geniuses just like the old man? 
And as for losing my virginity, well, I'd just say I can't think of a more finer way to do it than with Elon by my side. With his charm and charisma, he'd make even the most awkward of moments feel like a scene out of a romance novel. So here's hoping that one day, me and Elon can start a family together and embark on the greatest adventure of all, parenthood. 2. GCN Baby Park Let me tell you folks, when it comes to raising babies, right, there's no substitute for the good old book of the Bible. None of this fancy schmancy mumbo jumbo science nonsense, just a good old fashioned, just good old fashioned values and moral teachers and moral teachings that'll set them on the right path from day one. I mean, why fill their heads with all that evolution nonsense when they could be learning about the true origins of life from the pages of Genesis? It's time we, it's high time we banned them science books from our schools and replaced them with the word of God, teaching our young ones the importance of faith, family, and freedom. So here's to Baby Park. May it become a beacon of hope in a world gone mad with sexualism. 1. Wee Rainbow Road Well, let me tell you folks, when it comes to racing around the style, there ain't no track like Wee Rainbow Road. Now, some folks may see it as just another rainbow-themed track. But let me tell you, there's more to it than meets the eye. That rainbow stretching out before me? It's not a system of diversity or inclusion. It's a reminder of the simple pleasures in life, like the desire to sleep with Elon Musk. And as for the track design, well, it's clear as day to me that it's proof that the Earth is flat. I mean, look at it, no curves in sight, just a straight shot to victory. And don't get me started on the lack of Joe Biden or them pesky Democrats. It's like a breath of fresh air, racing without the fear of some liberal trying to take away my guns. So here's the wee rainbow road. May it be a safe haven for racers like me, free to chase our dreams and our desires wherever they may lead, moist with anticipation for the day I can sleep with Elon Musk.